If you're making any selections, removing the background in Photoshop, this tutorial is going to be super valuable for you. This is part two, diving into the rest of the tools inside of Select and Mask, including how all the global refinements work. So let's use an object with hard edges to look at the rest of the tools in Select and Mask. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make that selection. We're going to choose Select Subject, but first use the cloud for better quality. Choose Select Subject. Now you'll see some areas that maybe need a little bit of work. I see the back here. I want to remove that, so we're just going to grab the Object Selection tool, hold down the Alt or the Option key, and make a selection around that area we want to get rid of. And notice that it detects the edges and removes it. I see a little bit up the front here. Why don't we grab the Quick Selection tool and grab those little areas on the light. This is why I like to make the selection first inside of Photoshop to take advantage of all the tools before going into Select and Mask. Now we're going to jump into Select a Mask. I see there's a little bit at the back of the car there that needs to be removed. But let's check the mask. So I'm going to choose the View, and we're going to choose the Black and White. And now we can see the mask, and we can see areas that need fixing. So we've already looked at Refine Edge, which works on soft edges, and it uses the algorithm to calculate the edges. The next one down, which is the Brush tool, it's just a brute force tool that we just simply paint. There's no algorithm. Let me just change the view quickly. We'll go to on black. If I paint, it will just show areas I want to show. Or if I hold down the Alt or the Option key, it will paint those areas away. So let's go back to our black and white. We know we want to fix that area. So let's make that brush smaller. Hold down the Alt or Option. Notice it becomes a minus key. And then we just clean up that area. So this is where you can go through and just paint those areas that you want to get perfect by hand. And if you're getting any value out of this video, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. Let's go back to the on black. So the object selection tool, we can select objects within the photo. And if we click on those, those objects will be added to our mask. If we want to do it by hand, we can go in and use the lasso tool. With the lasso tool, we can select areas, just like we would with the brush, but we're doing this with a selection. The Alt or the Option key would turn it into a minus tool. And of course, if we have straight lines, we can grab the polygon lasso tool, and that will enable us to get nice straight edges. And this can be used for fixing you know, straight edges within the photograph. Now the hand tool and the zoom tool, the Zoom tool is the equivalent of holding down the Alt or the Option key and zooming in, which we will do. And to maneuver around the photo, use the Hand tool or grab the Space Bar. All right, that's all the tools. Let's focus on the right-hand side, particularly under Global Refinements. I'm just going to change this to on white so we can see that dark edge around there. Notice it's really jaggy. In fact, I'm going to zoom in even more. And we want a smooth edge. A lot of the time when I'm cutting out vehicles and things like that, and I need them high resolution and print, I'm actually going to use the pen tool. But that's another tutorial. Let's focus on using these tools here. So if I want to get a smooth edge, there's two ways to do it. One, I can actually just grab smooth. And as I increase it to smooth, notice it starts to smoothen those edges off. And that works really well. So there's another way to get a similar result, and that's using a combination of feather and contrast. Now, I get a little bit more control, I believe, by using these separately. I'll show how these work inside of Photoshop so you can see exactly what they do. We're going to grab the mask. Let's view the mask by itself. If I blur this mask, choose Filter Blur. Give it a little bit of a Gaussian blur here. There we go. This where we expand it enough that it's smooth. Let me show you this on the image. So that's with the blur, hit Control L. Bring them into the middle to tighten this up. Let's go even closer so you can see it at a pixel level. You can see what's going on. All right, we're continuing in the Select and Mask workspace. And we'll do a combination here of a little bit of feather and contrast. If it's still bumpy, give it a little more feather until it's smooth. 
Now, what we want to do is we want to compress this edge in. If you look at the shift edge, what it does is if I move it to the left, notice how it goes in towards the image. If I go to the right, it will expand it and go outside of the image. All right, to demonstrate what's going on inside of Photoshop, we're going to grab the mask, choose filter blur, give it a little bit of a Gaussian blur here, control L. If we go more to the right, see how it contracts that edge. If we go more to the left, it expands that edge. So this is essentially what's happening when we're using this shift edge slider. Now, before I bring it in too tight, what we want to do is reduce this halo on the edge. So what I like to do is hit decontaminate colors. And notice that reduced, it didn't completely get rid of it, so we could do a little bit of shift edge. So when you do use this, you want to use it very, very subtly or very sparingly because you've got to be careful that it doesn't take away from other parts of your image. Remember, it's not just affecting that edge, it's affecting all the edges in the entire selection. Now, when I zoom out, you can see we've got pretty, pretty nice smooth edges. I'm going to use new new layer for layer mask click OK. So this gives us a cutout where we can make the adjustments. If we select the layer mask and we grab a brush and we paint with black, we could go in here and we could start to fix some of the areas that we want by hand. If there's areas in the image that we want to bring back, we just switch those around, paint with white. And by the way, the X key will flip between those and with white we could bring back in some areas in the photo if we needed to. So we can perfect those with the brushes later on. So thanks for watching part two of the Selector Mask Master Course here. If you learned anything new, let me know in the comments underneath. If you haven't yet seen part one where you learn how to cut out hair, fur, and get beautiful edges, check it out right here. If you're new to the cafe, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.